Welcome back. And today I'm going to teach you how to get your home leveled up on the cozy factor. Woohoo! This is going to be fun. And you guys have been asking a lot about this lately. I know we're moving into the fall. There's lots of questions about how can I make my house cozy? And I am going to cover all those points. Ready? Let's go. Okay guys, so today's a total snuggle fest. So first thing up that you want to think about, easiest way to get your space looking all tasty and yummy just like these spaces do. Oh, you just want to hang in there with your Cozy Co jammies on, right? So guys, the thing to understand about Cozy is that it's an experience. And so it involves everything, not just a throw pillow or, you know, a rug, but it's everything to do with how does the space look? How does it function? How does it smell? Oh, and even more importantly, how does it sound? Now, you're probably saying to me, what the heck does sound have to do with cozy? Well, let me tell you, when you're in big empty spaces like these guys are, the reality of it is they feel cold because sound, sound reverberates. Reverberate. And so what you need to do to fix cold rooms and make them cozy rooms is you have to introduce things that absorb sound. And the number one easy trick to do that is to get yourself a giant rug. Oh, that's the number one step. So look at these beautiful rooms. They feel all kind of yummy and cozy. Big rugs and the more shaggy and yummy and textural, the better. Now, if you stay to the end, I'm going to show you a super, super secret, secret pro, pro tip, tip on how to get giant rugs for a deal. Now, the second thing you want to do to kind of absorb sound in that space and create more cozy factor is consider your window treatments because glass reflects sound. And so the more glass you have exposed, then the less cozy it is. So you want to think about things like soft material window treatments, like draperies, Roman shades, things like that. And if you want to know more about how to do window treatments or how to select them so they'd be right for your space, I'm thinking of all you guys with those baseboard heaters. I've got you solved, but you've got to go over and check out my window treatments video series and that'll get you all straightened up and get your windows feeling cozy. Okay, so guys, the third thing, and we're still on working on that sound factor, is you want to get yourself some super yummy textural upholstery. Now, here's the trick, is that if you have leather sofas, leather is a hard surface. It actually bounces sound. So what do you do if you've got like a leather sofa? Oh, there's all kinds of solutions. Think about slip covers. Think about throwing some really giant, yummy textural throws over them. Or you can even go in and reupholster parts of it in fabric, leave maybe the arms in leather, and that way you get a little bit more sound absorption going on with your upholstery. Last thing on sound that you want to make sure you consider is what your walls like. They're going to bounce sound as well. So, you know, Remember those castles that had all of those tapestries hanging there? They were two factors involved with that thing. One, they helped keep the room warmer, a cozy factor. And two, they helped reduce the sound bounce from the stone walls or whatever was behind them. So that's an old, old trick. And you can still use it if you're doing transitional or traditional pieces. But if you're more of a modern gal and you want to do a fabric hanging, there's definitely some cool things out there. This one actually I found the other day from West Elm. That will definitely absorb some sound. So that's another little factor cons to consider when you're looking to level up your cozy. So now, the number two thing after sound that you want to consider is your palette. Now, to be honest, if your space is done in kind of the cool direction, say blues, greens, things like that, that's fine. But you want to look for ways that you can add a pop of warmth visually with your color palette. So I love this room that is this beautiful sort of an ice blue, which is very cool and not cozy, but they've added in a lovely warm wood table and a nice yellow throw over the arm. Or this other room that's got a bunch of different orange and reds going through it. Those are all good ways to kind of make that overall palette that's cool feel cozier. So palette is your next 
option. Now guys, the next factor that you want to consider to level up your cozy is along with your palette, what is your lighting? They're linked together like hand and glove. So here's the deal. You want to keep your lighting on the warmer side. So soft white or even candlelight yellows can be great. And if you need to know more about how to deal with lighting, definitely check out my lighting video, which explains everything about Kelvins and all about how to like work with dimmers and creating three natural points of light. So you've got to get there and check that out. Now guys, if these tips are helping you level up your cozy or almost anything else you need to do with your space, you have got to check out the design club. It is open and rocking, baby. There is so much info in there. It's gonna blow your mind. So go to www.thedesignclub.com and sign up. You're gonna love it. Now, the next VIP element that you wanna consider is fire, baby. That is the primordial cozy factor. Now, what does that mean? So if you have a fireplace, use it for heaven's sakes. That's really fantastic. Now, some of you may have fireplaces that are unable to function or don't work or whatever, and there's always a solution for that too. I love the look of putting like candles or something like that that also replicates fire into the space of the wood box and kind of light those up. Those are great. You can even use the flameless ones if you have to and can't put heat in there. That's okay as well. Or maybe you just want to stuff it full of some birch logs or something like that. But heck, we've been hanging around fireplaces since we were living in caves. So it's the single most important factor if you've got that fireplace to work with. The next point actually does double duty on the cozy factor, which is it includes fire and smell, which is candles. Oh my gosh, candles are a super cozy element that you can include. I love them. I love them clustered together, maybe on a coffee table, or you can use them just in votives or a couple of high stacks on a mantle. You can put them in a lot of places. They look great. And what we're doing is I'm gonna link down below to some really great, yummy, cozy candles. I love these ones that are wrapped in the birch bark. That's beautiful. Or maybe you're at the ocean and you're looking for cozy. These sea glass ones are fantastic. So those are all great. So we're going to link those down below. I also love this one that just came out called Feu de Bois from Diptyque. Ooh, it's yummy. It smells like a crackling fire. So if you don't have the fireplace, you gotta get one of those. And also guys, these candles and their holders are going to be in the Design Club store as well. So you can check that out too. And if you're liking these tips and it's really helping you with your spaces, be sure and bang that button and ring that bell and like and subscribe. It makes such a huge difference to our channel. Oh, I love you guys for it. Thank you. Last one, and we don't want to forget it, but we always kind of know it anyway, is the yummy pillows and throws that we can always add into a space to kind of make things look yummy. Now, oh my gosh, I was checking on some things that are out now. Ooh, there's so many yummy pillows like these chunky woven sheepskin ones. And I love this cable knit. Ooh, how about this Italian boiled wool one? That's fabulous. Or this, I love these pom pom throw. That's fantastic. Faux fur ones. The big ones that look like mohair buffalo chicks. Those are fabulous and super warm and cozy. And then you can do a faux fur one. Or if you've got a real hide already, you can kind of work with those. So. There's a bunch of those that we're gonna link down below and they're also available in the store. Oh, and I forgot this one, but this is another little addition that you can add, which is an upholstered poof. Ooh, you're looking for texture. You're looking for things that absorb sound. Oh my gosh, I love this new little poof that just came out with the big chunky cable around the bottom. It's all in knit wool. Oh, that's so yummy. Or there's this one that's from the inside, which is a storage poof, but it's got this draped skirt to it. So if you're a transitional gal, that is definitely a must have. And then there's this one, which I love, that just came out that's from CB2 that has this braided jute. That is just gonna suck up sound and slam up that cozy factor. So you guys stayed with me to the end and I've got the super secret pro tip. And this is how to get a giant 
bananas big carpet. Because you know what? A lot of you guys are dealing with rooms that need carpets that are 15 by 20, 22 square. I mean, I put in carpets that are 28 square. So you really need big carpets. So where do you go to get that? You've got to go to a wall-to-wall -wall carpet vendor because wall-to-wall -wall carpet is woven 13 feet wide and they can easily be stitched together to create a super big rug. And what's great about that is that a lot of times they're polyesters, so they're relatively inexpensive. You can roll this thing out and they can fabricate it for you. They will bind the edges either in a decorative binding, like a strip or something, or they can surge it so that you don't even see the edge. But either way, they can cut that thing to exactly the size you need for a fraction of the cost. They are my go-to every time I need to do a super oversized rug. And what's great is it looks like very bespoke and very customized for your space. And it's a huge sound suck and it slams that coziness factor way up there, babes. Boom, super pro tip. Now, what I want you guys to do is I want you to go over to this button right here, click this. I put a special playlist together that's gonna help you with all of the coziness factors that you need. And I will see you next week.